Successful people think differently because they're not worried about other people's judgment. While the world criticizes, they create. While most people are busy protecting their reputation, they're too busy searching for the truth. And here's the key. Thinking differently is not an aesthetic choice. It's an intellectual survival skill. If you think like everyone else, you'll end up with the same results as everyone else. And the average is harsh. Uninspiring jobs, lives with no purpose, routines where people wake up, work, complain, and go to sleep. Nothing more. Is that really living? Or is it just surviving? Pay close attention now because this may change the course of your life. Think differently or die average. Stop believing what everyone else believes. Stop repeating what everyone else says. Every success story begins with someone who dared to disagree with normality. Not because they wanted to look rebellious, but because curiosity was stronger than the fear of judgment. And it's this curiosity, directed and disciplined, that opens doors the average will never see. So think differently. And if you decide to think differently, prepare yourself for something greater. The freedom to learn anything, to create paths no one has created, to master your own mind. Listen carefully now, because what I'm about to reveal lies behind every genius mind, curiosity. Ordinary people lose curiosity over time. They accept ready-made answers, stop asking questions, stop investigating. They think they already know enough. And that's the moment mediocrity sets in. Now look at the people who truly stood out. Scientists, entrepreneurs, creative leaders. They all had one thing in common. They never stopped asking questions. Even if they didn't understand something, they would ask again and again and again until the answer finally made sense in their mind. This is the first step to thinking differently. Many people are embarrassed to raise their hand and say, I don't understand, afraid of being criticized. In a classroom, the student who asks too many questions is easily labeled as stupid. But the truth is exactly the opposite. The one who asks questions is one step ahead. The one who questions shows the courage to learn. That's why, if you want to start thinking differently, begin with the simple act of admitting your doubt. The courage to ask is the mark of someone who refuses to remain ordinary. Now pay attention to me because I'll show you how to truly think differently. Thinking differently is a daily exercise in intellectual freedom. The first step is to do what you love. When you work or study something that sparks passion, your energy multiplies. Normal is waking up tired because you spend energy on activities that don't inspire you. Different is waking up hungry for life because you're investing your time in what makes sense. Ask yourself, if nobody judged me, what would I choose to learn, to create, or to build? That answer points to your true path. Second, protect your mental independence. That means not letting other people's opinions become the filter for what you think or do. Most people fear being criticized, fear being called strange. But remember, everyone who changed the world was ridiculed before they were applauded. Thinking differently always bothers people because it exposes the mediocrity of those who follow the herd. Third, feed your curiosity without fear. Ask, test, explore. That's the fuel of innovation. Don't accept anything just because everyone does it this way. Ask yourself, is there another way? The simple act of questioning already puts you on another level. Fourth, simplify your life to free up energy for the essential. Those who think like everyone else get lost in excess. Those who think differently focus on what matters. If you're exhausted, it's hard to have the clarity to think in a new way. Energy is born from being aligned with purpose, eliminating the unnecessary, and putting strength into what truly moves your life. Pay close attention now, because what I'm about to tell you is one of the mind's biggest prisons, the fear of being different. Most people don't live their own ideas. They live other people's ideas. They're shaped by the opinions of family, friends, society, the media. They spend life trying to please, to fit in, to be accepted. 
But those who think differently understand something simple. If you always seek approval, you'll never have clarity. To think differently, you must learn to shield your mind against the pressure of the majority. And that starts with a daily exercise. Every time you feel tempted to do something just because everyone does it, stop and ask, does this really make sense to me? Does it bring me closer to what I want? Or does it just make me like everyone else? That simple question is enough to expose the automatic choices that keep you stuck in the average. Remember, life is too short to live dependent on other people's approval. Another point, choose carefully the voices you listen to. I'm not saying ignore everything and everyone, but be discerning. Ask yourself, does this person have results I admire? Do they live what they preach? Or do they just repeat what they've heard? If not, why give their opinion so much weight? Learn to separate constructive criticism from noise. And here's a powerful detail. The courage to stand by your own vision earns respect even from those who disagree. At first, you may be criticized. You may even be ridiculed. But over time, when results appear, the same people who laughed at you go quiet. Nothing is more convincing than the evidence of a life lived with purpose and authenticity. Thinking differently is swimming against the current. It's bearing the pressure of judgment without giving in. It's choosing the clarity of your conscience over the empty applause of the crowd. And when you train yourself in this, you realize that freedom isn't being accepted. It's living true to what you believe, even if no one claps. Thinking differently isn't an inborn talent. It's a trained habit. You're not born outside the box. You build the box and then learn to break it every day. That takes discipline, and discipline is born from rituals. If you want to stand out, you need to turn curiosity and mental independence into concrete actions that shape how you think. The first ritual is the daily question. Pick any situation in your life and ask, why is this done this way? Don't accept the first answer, go deeper. Who said it has to be like this? Is there a better, simpler, faster way to do it? When repeated every day, this exercise trains your mind not to settle for ready-made answers. The second ritual is explaining out loud. When you learn something new, don't keep it to yourself, explain it. Even if it's to the mirror, when you speak, your mind organizes, your ideas align, and the gaps show up. That's the moment you discover if you truly understood. This simple habit will accelerate your ability to learn 10 times more than someone who only reads and repeats. The third ritual is creative review. At the end of the day, take one idea or important concept you learned and recreate it in your own words. Use a metaphor, a story, an example from your life. This act of recreation makes the idea stop being external and become part of you. It's in this act that different thinking begins to flourish. And finally, the ritual of conscious observation. Set aside a few minutes to observe something ordinary and ask yourself, what is no one else seeing here? It could be an object, a situation, even a conversation. This practice trains your eyes to see beyond the obvious. That's how innovations are born, from someone who looked at the ordinary and saw the extraordinary. Those who practice these rituals don't just think differently, they begin to live on another level of perception. And that difference builds up day after day until it becomes an advantage impossible to ignore. But here's the truth. The path of those who think differently is never easy. They are misunderstood, judged, often humiliated. The crowd cannot stand those who break the pattern because independent thinking exposes the mediocrity of those who prefer to follow the herd. It's easier to call someone crazy than to admit they might have seen something you didn't. But listen, every great person you admire went through this. Galileo was condemned for seeing beyond what the church accepted. Bruce Lee was ridiculed for mixing styles and creating his own philosophy. All of them were seen as too different until the world had to bow to the evidence of what they built. And here's the secret few have the courage to accept. Thinking differently is expensive in the beginning, but it pays dividends forever. The rejection you feel today 
is the same energy that will fuel your victory tomorrow. This is the path of those who refuse to die average. They choose truth over acceptance, curiosity over indifference, courage over fear. And with that, they build something that lasts, something that inspires, something that cannot be you. So I tell you, if you want to think differently, be prepared to be misunderstood, be ready to be criticized, but also be certain that in the end you will be remembered. Because no one remembers the crowd that merely repeated. History remembers the names of those who dared to be unique. Think differently, protect your flame, and never bow to mediocrity. Because in the end, you either have the courage to live as an exception, or you accept dying as just another in the average. Now it's on you. I want you to prove to yourself that you've chosen to think differently. Write in the comments, I will never accept dying being influenced. This phrase is more than words. It's a pact with your mind, a declaration that you will not bow to mediocrity. And if you enjoyed this lesson, leave your like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, because here you'll keep receiving ideas that will challenge your mind, expand your vision, and accelerate your learning. Remember, those who think like the majority live like the majority, but those who choose to think differently